back to Linda's Pantry and today I'm going to bring you mom for another Power Pressure Cooker XL recipe. And this literally came because I had to work late, I have nothing planned for dinner and I've kind of been in a little panic this afternoon going, uh, I don't even have leftovers. But when I got home, I thought, well, I'm going to do something in here. What can I throw together that's delicious and will take no time at all and use up some of the things I need to use up? So I had uh, a few of these frozen chicken tenders. So these are still frozen, and I get them in a big bag from Costco. I had some celery I needed to get rid of, some cilantro. I've got about a half a can of water chestnuts that I've chopped up finely. I've got some lime juice, about two tablespoons, some a lime that I've quartered, and that's just going to go on top, and the, the oils from the skin will permeate the rice and chicken. Some lemongrass, garlic, coconut milk, and this is a light coconut milk, and some balsamati rice. How easy is that? And it's all going to be in here in about 10 minutes. Uh, do I hear angels singing right now? Come on. Oh, and we need some butter. So, I'm going to grab some butter here, about, we're going to go for a tablespoon and a half there, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on the rice and risotto. Even though there's chicken in here, these are chicken tenders, they don't take very long. And then I'll up my timing here, oh, I wasn't fast enough. So rice and risotto, and then timing, we're going to go ahead, let's do, to be safe, 12 minutes. The rice only takes six minutes, but the chicken will probably take a little bit longer. So 12 minutes for dinner, I love it. Okay, and the more I use this, the more I love this thing. So I've got my butter in, then we're going to go ahead and add a cup and a half of basmati rice. And when you're doing the rice in here, you need equal parts rice and liquid, unlike on the stove. And it does, literally, this thing will cook rice in six minutes. Amazing. So we want equal parts liquid. So I'm going to put a cup of light coconut milk. Ooh, yummy. And then a half a cup of chicken stock. So there you go. My husband's going to love this. It's actually going to be fantastic. And what happens when you turn it on in the beginning, then you're ready to go. Honestly and truly, this thing the lights go kind of in a circle. That means it's heating up. And when it is ready, it'll completely, when it goes into pressure, that will stop and you won't see that anymore. So I'm gonna give this a little zhuzh around the pot. And for those of you that are thinking about one of these, boy, they're pretty nice. Okay, so I've got a tablespoon and a half of fresh lime juice. We're gonna pour that in. We're going to do a little bit of lemongrass because that kind of gives a little nice flair. And I buy it in the tube. We'll say a teaspoon and a half. And then I love garlic. Chicken, garlic, you name it. It goes together. So a little bit of garlic. We'll do a big heaping teaspoon of garlic. Mm -hmm. This garlic. I get this crushed garlic at Trader Joe's when I get the coconut milk. It's fantastic. And now we are ready to uh, go ahead and put our chopped things. I've got some celery here. This was about three ribs. And these are this is organic celery, so they're not ginormous. Maybe a cup of celery. We really love celery. So we're going to go ahead and put Drop your veg and your cilantro. Remember to save some cilantro for garnish at the end. And there's that. Now, before we add the chicken and, and this could hold four times this much, if not more. I mean, really only filling the bottom of this about a quarter of the way. So I've got that mixed together really nice. And I'm gonna lay the chicken on top. And these pieces are still frozen. We're gonna just nestle them down in there. And they're gonna cook. And you can leave these in portions. You know, these are, each piece would be a portion for someone. Or you could cut them up into chunks afterwards. And if you had, let's say, thought out 
raw chicken, you can certainly do that right then. And then I'm just going to place my lime wedges skin side down. And of course, I wash this lime. Um, just nestle it down in beside the pieces of chicken. And that's dinner! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Hold on, let me rinse So remember, off. I've already set the time, and it's just waiting for me to get the lid on. And it goes like this. Turn it into place. Place your steam valve back here to pressure. And right before this pressurizes, you'll hear it, but you don't hear any hissing or spattering while it's cooking. And as soon as it's come up to pressure, then your countdown, your timer turns on and it starts counting down. Absolutely fantastic. I'll bring you back. Okay, so my test. 12 minutes is up. The timer beeps for you, so you know that it's done. But what happens is it automatically goes to warm. So if I wasn't ready to have dinner, I could leave that on warm and it'd be just fine. But I'm so excited to see how this came out. And this is my first time doing this recipe in this cooking vessel. So you're gonna take your pressure valve back here and you're going to release the steam. You can't do that with a pressure canner. Don't try that. So as soon as that pressure comes off, and it takes a minute or so, we're going to dish it up. I've got my dish. I'm going to chop up some more cilantro and all Okay, guys, I'm excited. That took less than a minute for this to come off of pressure, and it will not allow me to open the lid unless it has. So it's very hot. I'm going to let that steam out. Ooh, it smells so good. It smelled really good while it was releasing the steam. Set that over there. And they send you a rice paddle, which is very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I can tell the chicken is cooked perfectly. So we're going to dish up a little bit of this rice. Doesn't that look pretty? I'm not going to do a full serving because it's not quite dinner time. And, well, it is dinner time, but my husband's still in transit. And so the nice thing about that is he just said that there's traffic, he'll be a minute. And so what I'm gonna do is put the lid back on and keep it on warm. And that our dinner will be warm for us. So now I need a piece of chicken tender. And that one kind of fell in half, fell apart a little bit. Ooh, it just looks and smells fantastic. Okay, I think that's good. So we'll put the paddle away. Let's put the lid back on and keep it nice and warm. There we go. Yeah, I don't necessarily want... There we go. Now it's on the warm setting. It always, as soon as it's done, will go to that warm setting for you, which is really nice. I've got some fresh cilantro to garnish, and there you go, done. Look at that. Dinner. In, honestly, start to finish chopping everything that I had to do to prep this meal and the 12 minutes that I cooked it, and I think I probably could have got away with less time because the chicken is very, it's perfect. It's done. I think start to finish this meal might have taken 20 minutes with all the chopping. That's it! On a weeknight, see my chicken is perfectly cooked. Mm. And, if, and if the chicken wasn't frozen, I would have only gone 8 or 10 minutes. Because these little chicken tenders, I'll put them in the microwave for 2 minutes and 2 or 3 minutes and they cook through pretty quickly. Mm. And this is a lean Pretty low fat little dish. Let's try the rice. Mm. The coconut, the coconut milk in the chicken stock, it just has such a nice flavor to it. A little garlic, mm. I taste the lemongrass. And even though the celery isn't super crunchy, it still has a bite. And then you get the crunch from the water chestnut. It's perfect. 
I am definitely doing this again and again. Oh my goodness. Mmm. This would be really good with shrimp. And mm, I'm gonna make this. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Perfect lime. Absolutely delicious. I hope that this inspires you to try this. And if it does, leave me a comment in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. And if you do make this, go over and join up on my Facebook page and send me a picture. Or, you know, you can make this in your slow cooker. You can make this on a stovetop. This was just super easy. I've got a link if you're interested in researching further about these. They're very moderately priced and they do every so day. I hope it inspires you I hope that you go check one out and the link is the first link down below and as always guys go check out the rest of them as well as I don't know I might have to eat dinner early um, er, than him mm. and this rice is perfect mm. okay I guess I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe and look forward to more exciting recipe ideas and fun things to do with this other than just picking up a recipe. Mm -hmm.